Kentucky did, and they were beat up some. They had six or seven kids out. Coach Wagner hadn't been there a long time, and he's a new coach there, and he was putting in his system. So I expect a totally different game tonight than what we had last time. Welcome back to Friday Frenzy. Alcoa and Gatlinburg Pittman met back in August. The tornadoes blew right past the Highlanders 56 to 7. Yeah, tonight Gatlinburg Pittman would try to change the storyline behind that game. Alcoa has knocked the Highlanders out of the past two postseasons. First quarter, Caden Buckles under center hands it off to Elijah Cannon, and he shoots out of a cannon. Go up the middle for a touchdown. Naders up 7 0. Highlanders looking for an answer. Houston Bird filling it. At filling in at quarterback, hands it off to Levi Hill for a first down. They're only of the first half. I'll go up 14 to nothing here. They keep it coming. Buckle swing pass to Jordan Harris. Takes it 49 yards to the house. Alcoa is cooking. Naders up 21 to nothing. Highlanders struggling to muster up any offense because of the big plays like this. Michael Williams with a big tackle for a loss. Now second quarter, Major Newman takes the snap. Hands it off to Harris, who takes care of the rest, avoiding tackles, weaving in and out for the touchdown. Now, Coa scored 56 points in the first half, Tim. All tornadoes tonight, shutting out the Highlanders, 63 to nothing. Kelly Ann Stitz was there for, with more. Alcoa starting quarterback Caden Buckle said last year when they faced the Highlanders in the playoffs, they were only up 14 to 13 by the half. So he told his team coming into tonight, let's make it 40 to nothing by the half and then I'll be happy. Well, guys, he must have been thrilled because they scored 56 points by the break. Coming into tonight, Alcoa had only played two of their last four games, coming off of a forced bye week after a first round forfeit from their opposing team. And the Tornadoes unleashed their cooped up energy on the Highlanders tonight. Racking up over 480 yards of total offense, according to two hype sports, finding the end zone nine times, even scoring 28 points in three or so minutes to open the second quarter. Alcoa head coach Gary Rankin said the team was just eager to play coming into tonight, and it showed. Uh, our kids were fresh, like they were hungry, they hadn't played in a while, and you know those kids had only played. They didn't. We missed three games during the year, so we needed game action. There's nothing like it, and. And we got out of here without any injuries, so we'll be ready to go next week. I mean, we came in here, we just wanted to win. And that's how it's going to be every game. And if we just keep doing that, I think we can do it. Alcoa's success starts with its defense, and the unit played lights out tonight, holding the Highlanders to 77 total yards of offense and only three first downs, posting its fourth shutout of the season. The Tornadoes advance to the quarterfinals, where they will take on Pigeon Forge next Friday. Guys, 